So as a professional photographer, I want my images to look good, but I don't really always wanna be lugging around like my big cameras, especially when I'm just chasing after my daughter and doing regular life, right? But I want my images to be beautiful and professional, especially when I process them on my phone and then I share them to my social media. So I wanna share with you today a couple of apps, take you behind the scenes and share with you free ways that you can edit your photos to look more professional, but also get that beautiful bokeh background that we're always looking for. That's kind of signature to that DSLR look, but that you can get for free using just your phone. So I am super excited to share this with you. I'm gonna share my screen and make sure that you're able to look at what I'm doing on my phone. So let's dive right in. So here we are inside of my phone. This is a folder of just my photo and video editing apps. And I wanna draw your attention to the two at the top left. So the first is Snapseed. I already went ahead and pulled in just a cell phone picture of my family that was like over a year ago when we attended a wedding. And this is an image that I really loved that I felt like was a good example of what we could play around with here today so that you could see if I blurred the background and did some minor edits, what a difference it could make in the end. So I'm gonna go into tools and tap tune image and go ahead and slide the brightness up just a little bit, slide the contrast up a little bit, pull up the saturation, make it pop, kind of play around with the ambiance and the highlights, and then I think I'm actually gonna warm it up a little bit too. I like my images to be really warm. And then what we're gonna do is export this image. So I've just made a few tweaks to the actual like exposure and the color and stuff like that. And I like to do that inside of Snapseed because for me it's really fast. I like the way that all the tools are set up here. Okay, so one other thing you can do inside of Snapseed that I wanted to point out that can be really helpful when you have just something distracting in the background that you wanna remove is that you can completely remove an area of the image. So I'm gonna do that for you now. So we go to this healing tool and zoom in on this person who is standing in the background of my family photo. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight what I want to clone out of the image basically, and it's gone. So I do that, come back out, and then it just kind of elevates the overall image, makes it far less distracting. You could then go in, brighten, go back to your tune panel and change the contrast, do whatever you need to do. Then you save this image and bring it over into the next app called Focus, and I'll show you that one now. We're gonna grab that image that we just edited and it automatically identified where our faces were, which was crazy. And then you can see the background is actually really beautifully blurred. And I wanna show you a couple more things that you can do inside of this app, even in the free like capabilities. You can slide this and it gives you this appearance of the aperture. And this is actually a really cool visual of how aperture works. But basically, if you wanted to get a very wide open aperture or a shallow depth of field with a super blurred background, you can slide all the way to the right. But if you wanna go back and get the image as it was, slide back to the left. So this is really, interesting and cool for so many reasons because you can get that blurred background in your images to whatever extreme you're hoping for. This is also a really cool thing if you have something distracting in the background of your image or maybe even like your house or your calendar, like personal information you wanna blur out but you still wanna use the image. This is an amazing app for that. So I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit to make it a tiny bit more natural. Now, what you can also do is change the shape of the actual focus. And if you go into Focus Pro and you pay for their higher level accounts, you can even go in and change the actual look of the bokeh in the background. So if you want it to be kind of that like circular starry bokeh, they have that too. But truthfully, I'm a big fan of just the classic regular blurred background. So you can also come in here, let me see, and crop your image. Yeah, I like that a lot, let me see. Once you're happy with how your edits look and the background of the bokeh, you can tap this button at the top right and you can save a copy of your image. So in the first image, it was beautiful, but it wasn't as focused on our faces as I wanted it to be. So using the Focus app, I was able to get the after image where you can see the background is just really, really smooth. So that's it, it's so fast, it's so quick. You can literally just throw all your images in there, play around, 
blur the background. If you want to brighten them, you can. If you want to remove things from the background, Snapseed also has that capability. Um, and it's just so simple and easy. So I thought I would share this with you. Shout out to my friend Mason, who originally told me about the Focus app. I couldn't believe it was free. I thought it did a really fantastic job of kind of emulating that bokeh look um, without always using portrait mode or having the ability to create bokeh in our phones. So I hope this was fun for you to see just a couple of the ways I edit my own cell phone pictures to get them to look just a little bit better, to get that really signature blurry background bokeh that we're always looking for and to help them fit in a little bit better on Instagram. Let me know if you learned anything and you wanna see more apps that I use for my personal use and my business use on my phone. I would be happy to create another video sharing a couple of other tips for how I edit video clips and other types of things here on my phone. But thank you so much for watching and I will see See you next week. Bye guys.